what's going on good old YouTube people see how I just keep posting now now you can't get rid of me I'm forever ingrained into your channel or your 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 viewing suggestions I guess so it's topic time <laughs> yeah so you know I kinda wanted to have a little conversation uh, cause I saw the, um, I saw the thumbnail for it yesterday. I didn't really watch it, uh, up until now. Um, and those who are tuning into this video, so, you know, this is, uh, this is about the 30 year old, uh, the 30 year old year, guy, year old guy. What's his name? Michael. Look him up again. <sighs> I really forgot that, that dude's last name. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, his name is Michael. And um, he's pretty much been living uh, with his parents rent-free for eight years. Uh, his family have tried to get rid of him like five times. They told him five times, look, you have to go. He's been refusing to leave. Uh, so they basically took him down to court and fought a legal action against him and the judge forced him to leave so and then he responds back with his parents are evil people his parents are bad people um so how I feel about this entire thing to be really honest with you um I okay I, I think this is really pathetic of him to, to, to put this off on his parents um, because first of all how are you how are you going to get upset with your parents you've been living off your parents for eight years you're 30 years old now uh, he I think he's yeah he's around my age group so like that's all I understand like I um and you know, and, and I watched the interview that he had with the reporter, um, and I saw, you know, I was reading like YouTube comments. You know, YouTube comments aren't always the best thing to read when you're watching a video, because somebody's gonna say something that's. Um, I'm sorry to to get on the people that are in that vi that are that were in the comment section, but some people are going to say some things that are stupid. And you can't help but to uh, look at their comment and go like, I cannot believe you sat there and wrote that. Um, now, what I mean by this, got my hint of wine, sorry. So, what I mean by this is, uh, um, so let, let's get to the interview first. So the reporter, she's asking him like a series of questions and everything, um, which I feel like they were pretty legitimate questions. Um, I just feel like, uh, and <clears throat> I've ran into people who are like this uh, in actuality, who are like Michael in this case, who just who just live with their parents. Uh, they don't have a job. They won't get a job. They just live off of, not even just appearance, they just live off of other people. They won't get a job. Um, they won't save money. Things of that nature. Because the whole time I was listening to this interview, I was, I was right along with the reporter. I'm like, yeah, why didn't you just, if you felt, because he kept saying that he, uh, he could, he could move out. He could move out. And it's like, okay, well, if you're trying to get your own place, why don't you just move out tomorrow? You've been at your parents' place for eight years. So within that eight-year time period, the way I think and see this, within that eight-year time period, he could have got himself a job, saved some money. Why not? He's not paying, hell, he's not paying rent. Might as well just save some money up. Uh, I mean, that's the luxury that I'm pretty sure everybody wants, they don't have to pay rent with, the, they can stay with their parents and live rent free for eight years. Um, which I, I, I seriously feel like, I just feel like this guy is selfish. He's lazy. Um, and 
this is where I go back to the YouTube comments because there were people down there that were making excuses for this guy, and I'm like, I'm like, wow, you guys are making excuses for this dude? Like, come on, he's that should have told you right there. Like, he's and, and, and well, and I guess the reason why they were making the excuses for him is because he brought up that he uh, he lost his eight year old son in a custody battle, and that really messed him up. And then people were in the comment sections were saying, I heard, I heard, I actually read where someone was like, oh, well, you know, he's, I, I'm tired of people saying he's lazy. I'm tired of this reporter talking down to him. Maybe that destroyed his motivation. And it's like, no, that's just an excuse for him. So you mean to tell me that was, that was, that's justifiable for him to live off his parents for eight years, rent free, living under his parents' roof. His parents constantly tell him, you have to go, you have to go. And it's like, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand what, what, what has to be said there. That's enough said. This man was, this man was leeching off his, his parents for eight years. And then he had the audacity to say in the interview that they didn't give me enough, uh, notice. They're kicking me out tomorrow. They're 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 kicking me out tomorrow, and I'm upset with them because they didn't give me enough notice. You've had about eight years worth of notice. They gave you five. They notified you five times. You have to find your own place. Like I don't understand. I don't understand entitled people like that. That's what bothers me is when, and it saddens me that it's my generation that feels like they're people in my generation that feel like they're so entitled um, where they feel like uh, they, they basically feel like oh this oh woe is me break out the violins this happened to me so this person and this person the third owes me this much uh, oh my, oh, owes me this much of my time owes me this much of my money I don't have to spend anything because they owe this to me nobody owes you anything out here you have to go out there and get it you have to go out there and make a living like i have been out on my own since i was 19 years old i'm 33 now i've been on my own since i was 19 years old back in 2004 i was out there on my own after i graduated high school and and oh three Moved out of my parent, moved out of my parents' house when I was 19 years old. Uh, I've been there's been occasions where I have been homeless, but I've still been working a job the whole time. Um, I I mean I don't think there's really too many times where I haven't had a job. Um, now you know I mean I stay in an apartment now. It's not the best apartment, but I stay in an apartment. I've been on my own since I was 19. Um, I live with a woman that I love a lot. I'm going to uh, marry here pretty soon. So I just feel like, I feel like you got to, the, the, the idea of moving out is to have that luxury of freedom, to have that luxury of privacy, to know that you can stand in an apartment or you can stand in a house or whatever and say, I live here. This is my place. So I don't understand. There's no excuse for this guy being being with his parents for as long as he has and then he's turning around and saying well it's my parents fault my parents did this to me and then people were like well the reporter was talking down to him no he needs to be talked down to because that's stupid like i don't understand why it's it's like the and the whole thing about it is you know i don't know if this is a little off basis or not but it's kind of like the the it's like we have a we have a tendency to defend people uh, these days. I noticed that uh, when I had the Kanye West arguments with people, um, when I've had arguments that clear as day is the one thing, but then the people on YouTube want to argue about or and try to defend it. No, this dude is lazy. He's been living underneath his parents for eight years, and then what made me even more upset with me. What made me even more upset with this guy was he tried to put this off on his parents like, this is my parents' fault. 
that's right, this is my parents' fault. And then he's making excuses, talking about, well, they didn't give me enough notice. They don't have to give you notice. You Again, you've had eight years to get yourself together, and you chose not to do that. So now you got to bite the bullet. Now you got to figure out what you're going to do. I mean, like, this is ridiculous. I, um... I was appalled watching the video. I was appalled watching his interview with the reporter because she was like talking some sense into him. And it, it's like, it's like he wasn't trying to get it or understand it. I don't even think she was talking down to him. I think she had a, to me, it's the same way I would have reacted interviewing this dude. Like, it's just a, it's just a, a sense of disbelief because even after the video she even says wow this is the most surreal interview i've ever had with anybody and i i've nodded with her i'm like i agree that is the most surreal interview i think i've ever watched ever on television that was very surreal like i was like wow it was just like it was like he was it was like he was believing everything he was saying a lot of stuff he was saying was really stupid um, except for the son custody, custody battle thing, you know, um, um, I do, I do feel, I do feel bad for that. I mean, that's, that's rough, but at the same time though, everything else was just really stupid. Um, even down to when he tried to, he tried to, uh, put, he tried to put being a millennial with, with somebody's political beliefs. And I was like, What? I'm like, being a millennial has nothing to do with your stance on political agenda. That has nothing to do with it. Millennial millennial is based on your age group. Like, my, uh, uh, him and my group are considered millennials. So I don't, I, I, I didn't understand what he was, like, trying to get at with that. Where he was like, well, um... Uh, I, when I, when someone says millennials, I compare them to the alt left, alt right, and I'm like, what? No, it's not. It's it's the age. It's the age group. It's the age range. The age group. That that's what that's what separate. That's what they call millennials. Is depending on what year you were born in, your your or what year you uh, you grew up in. That is considered or what what decade I should say. You're considered a millennial. Like that has nothing to do with political agenda, but apparently to him it, it it meant political agenda. I guess somebody needs to be educated further. But I um uh that's how I feel about this. Um, seriously, like this is just this is just somebody don't don't try to twist it and turn it around. People who are making excuses for this guy, this is a guy who's pure lazy. Uh, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to do anything for himself. He wants people to do stuff for him. Um, he wants people to, to basically take care of him. Um, and he doesn't feel like he has to work or do anything. He's, he's, uh, he feels like he is privileged. He feels like he is so privileged and he's not. So I feel like this is right what his parents is doing. I feel like the judge came to a really good decision. And I felt like the reporter gave him the talking that he needed. So that's all I have for this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I love having these conversations with you guys. Um, if you disagree with me, uh, definitely post down in the uh, comment section. And we will definitely have a talk. You know, I'll uh, definitely answer you back. Alright, so I will see you on the next video.